Just call the meeting to order. It's around 6.30 or so. It sure is, 6.33. 6.33. Do we have any additions to the agenda? No? I don't hear any. Apparently not. It's like the, it's okay. Not. I love Zoom. Um, do we have minutes? <laughs> Uh, I'm afraid not. Do we have... Okay. Um, is there some time we will have minutes? I hope so. I'm pretty discouraged. Oh. Can you do the statutorily required ones I suggested a few meetings ago? Um, Just to get us out of this little bit of a that, back. That's my priority, log. yes. Yes, that's my priority. Okay. Okay. Um, I'll move to the next thing. Public comment. Do we have public? I can't see any, but you guys are in a better position to see than me. So just I do to, not so see any. who's in the room besides Gina, Zoe, and me, it's Jim Barlow, Michael Dwayne, and Ross. Okay. So no public comment. Who's that, Kim? Oh, and Sean from Orca, Sean Temple. He's doing attendance. Uh, Kyle's doing attendance. Yeah. What's that? Oh, um, we do have a public comment here. Uh, I, I can take calling on people in the room, Seth, uh, if you want. Uh, okay. Michael Dwayne. Sure. Is he public yeah. comment? Yes. OK. Yes. I had a public comment. Um, Edie Miller had contacted Seth and me um, by email regarding the upcoming signpost edition and wanted to know if there were any particularly um, uh, major issues coming up at the town meeting other than the generally important things that always come up just in terms of a little blurb for the signpost. Uh -huh. So Seth gave her a, 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 a comment that the fire, excuse me, that the town garage issue might be of something of great importance for people to yes. chime in on. And so if there was anything else that folks thought um, Edie via the signpost should put out to folks to uh, let her know either through me or through Seth or if anyone on the select board wanted to send her a quick note because uh, she was just looking to put a little blurb in there. Okay. And uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Michael. Yeah, I did respond today. About the yeah, Seth right. responded so, today. Yeah. Okay, so I don't hear any other public comment. I think that's correct. Um, let's move on to the discussion with the town attorney on tax appeal hearing. Arthur, I'm going to do parcel number 0704000. Tax appeal. So your sound is getting pretty marginal, Seth, but we heard that you wanted to move on to the discussion with the town attorney. The town attorney is here with us and uh, we can do that. Uh, a motion is in order to go into executive session. And um, I had the, the nice extended agenda here with the exact motion. Uh, up, but I don't see it, but I probably have it right here. Um, so I move to go into executive session under 1 VSA section 313A1F. This is a confidential attorney client uh, communication section of our meeting for the purpose of providing professional legal services to the body. Is there a second? We, got, uh, we have a second from Zoe. Second. Yeah. Okay. So and all those in favor, please say aye. Can you hear me okay? Yes. Aye. Yep. Yeah. Aye. Do the eyes have it? I can't see Zoe. Yes. I'm assuming the eyes do have it. Yep. Okay. okay. Let's go into executive session. We are out of executive session and no action was taken. And that was at... That was um, enough. 52, we're out of executive session. Okay. Everyone ready to move to the next item? Yeah. 
Okay. Consideration of annual certificate of highway mileage. Probably no changes, I don't believe. No changes, says. That is correct. No we, right. So we can sign the certificate as presented. I have the original here for those that are in attendance to sign, and then those that are not can sign when you're back in town. Sounds good. I'll be back. God willing. <laughs> um, <laughs> we ready to go to the next item? The next item is a big one. Discussion on local hazard mitigation plan due to expire December 3rd, 2024. And I don't think, I I believe there were uh, some of us that were part of the last plan. We did hire a consultant or we didn't have to pay them, I don't believe. Is that true? We had a consultant help us make the last one. Uh, so what do we have to do so we have to have, make a new plan, right, Gina? Correct. It needs to be updated. I met with some representatives from the state today, and the state has grant funding available for this. Um, it's about $13,000 in total with a 25% match from the town. Um, from what I heard from them on the phone today, regional planning apparently does have capacity to do these. Um, we have to do this in an open bid, though, a uh, public bid um to retain a consultant but i was at least pleased that regional planning is a potential um so all i know of this is really what you see in the memo i happened i did not even get the email directly it went to the town clerk and went to the zoning administrator it was then forwarded to me wow. um so then i completed the form from the state and said i have no idea what this is um so <laughs> this is where i'm at i have opened the document i have not read it in detail, it definitely is a lengthy document and certainly seems like a process. Um, so what I'm seeking from the select board is your support approval to start down this path with the state to do what I need to do to apply for the grant. Um, obviously then I'll get the grant agreement. And there's a few, there's a risk assessment I have to complete. There's a whole heap of steps that we'll start going through. They apparently have a yep. draft of it that I can then use that we will publicize through our normal purchasing policy, hopefully get someone on board in February, a consultant that can start this work. And yes, a consultant has to do this. This is not something that could just be done in-house, as you know, because it wasn't last time. No, no, I remember doing it last time. It was quite a process and there was a lot it of people is. in the room and, There's and we, we had to work on it. Yeah, it was yeah, a lot of work. And so they are very important, though. You know, the, the town, all towns in the state have an ERAF uh, rating. Don't ask me what that stands for right now. But um, it affects how much we, um, how much funding we get. So one, there's funding, federal funding that's only available to you if you have a hazard mitigation plan in place. So as it relates to everything that we're dealing with with FEMA right now, um, the 25% that FEMA doesn't cover how much the state reimburses us of that <clears throat> having, we have every box checked. We have the highest ERAF rating that you can have in the state. A big portion of that is this, um, is having this right. hazard mitigation plan in place. So it is very important. And even when I spoke with someone, when I first got this email, and had no idea what this was um, from the state. She said that they're certainly very difficult to put together, a whole lot easier to update them if you have one. Mm -hmm still does take, I sat on a presentation last week about this whole process and I felt a little better that there were a lot of towns there that were um, kind of not in the loop, same as me on this process, um, that it can take anywhere from 12 to 18 months to do these, even to update them. Uh, so, you know, I think as we get bids back, you know, we'll see what consultants come up and we'll talk to them about timing. And from what they said on the presentation, if you don't think you can have it done before you're expi you expire, there's usually some grace from the federal government. So, um, so as soon as we can get this started, I would like to, but I kind of need select okay. board approval before I tell the state, let's go and let me start doing what I need to do 
so that we can get this ball rolling. Are you looking for a motion? I don't know if I really need a motion. I mean, I'll bring you all the grant agreement when it comes in, yeah. um, you know, like I always do. Um, but I'm, I don't know that you necessarily need to give me a motion to apply for all of this. I so so. Yeah, we're, not, we're not spending any money. So yeah, once I execute I the grant we, agreement, that's a different situation. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, Right. And so let's go. And bids and all that kind of stuff. You know, obviously all of that will come yeah. to you. So Godspeed. Let's right go. Now, I'm not anything. I just want to get the ball rolling. You can get it rolling. You okay. have our blessing. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Thank you. Scott, are you nodding your head? Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Good. Even I can do that. Okay. The next um, item is the update on special joint meeting with the Cal Select Board to discuss East Montpelier Fire Department budget and agreement. And the update is pretty simple. Is uh, the 15,000 they're gonna be um, putting back into their budget from their ambulance revenue. So Cal's agreed, we agreed. Yeah. It's uh, not a huge amount, but it it's okay. Uh, so that was a decision. So it reduces our, our, um, budget that we have to come up with for them for 10,000 and 5,000 for cows. Any questions on that? No. Okay. So is is there anything else we have? What's that? I think Zoe is quietly shaking her head. They have a hard time hearing that. Oh, oh okay. Right? It's hard. Uh, I'm not sure he can actually. Okay, not really. You see us, whatever. That With is. that? Oh, okay. Yeah, that camera up there isn't very good. Got it. Yeah. Okay. Any questions? No. Okay. You ready to go to the next item? Yes. Okay. Final finalization of FY 2025 budget development. So I just I don't have many questions over it. I have looked it over pretty well. Um, does anybody have any questions besides mine, which was on the capital reserve account? It looks like it was a million and now it's a million seven. And that seemed like a big jump. How was, how'd that work, Gina? For the, for the what, capital reserve. It added, it added 700,000 in one year. What page are you on? Uh, let me see. I got to see which page I was on. Not that one. Oh, I've got to find where I was. I was reading it over. Okay, so I'm on the Town of East Montpelier account, and it is You're in the one... reporting package? Yeah. yeah, which I'm a little confused of on that, too. Because it says twelve one twenty four on the left, and then it says December twenty three on the left. On the right, I mean. This is the M and T Bank North Coast Savings Bank Miscellaneous we're Trust the, Funds page. We're on the budget. You're ahead. You're on the agenda item oh. that is the town treasurer report. Okay. Oh, okay. That's for a monthly report. All right, I gotcha. So let's look at the town budget, which is the one we should be on. So anybody have any questions on that? So the budget as is in the select board memo, but then also I emailed the select board. Um, this is the budget. The select board budget is increasing 3% from fiscal 24 to fiscal, fiscal 25. However, um, unfortunately the tax rate is going up 4.7% and that is because the grand list is actually decreasing by a thousand dollars in the latest 411 report. So that's math and yeah. <laughs> not a whole lot I can do math about that. <laughs> so right. 
Um, I did the grand list decrease. I don't know. I have not asked solicitors. Mm -hmm. um, I know I asked Rosie. Um, I know there was some property put into current use, which okay. would obviously reduce the value. So yeah. I think that's the main driver. Right. Um, but when grand list is essentially staying flat, the tax rate is unfortunately going to go up more than the budget does because yeah. um, it's math. Um, so from a budget perspective, I've kind of tweaked it as much as I feel comfortable with right now. Um, did put some, you know, grant revenue in that wasn't in, in the past um, and some cor corresponding expense because the town does typically get a highway grant of some sort every year. However, it's never historically been budgeted, but we should put something in there. Mm -hmm. So that's how I was able to offset, um, you know, some of just the inherent increase in expenses that we are experiencing, as everyone is well aware of. Um, so we kind of are where we are, unless the select board has any specific comments or changes they would like made. Can I just um, ask you? Can I ask Gina, what, what 411 were you looking at that you said the grand list appeared to be going down? The one that you lodged on January 15th that I received went, from Rose. It went down from compared to what? Compared to the tax rate that was calculated in August, the 411 report that was used then. Huh. I'm going to see if I have that on my computer at home and take a look at it. I'll be back if I find anything. Okay. Yeah, are you trying to say something, Seth? No, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> okay, your you your sound me? your sound is marginal. Ah, I'm speaking right into this thing. This is the right end, right? Yeah, now it's speak better. louder. I think, you, I think if you turn your head, it cuts in and out. But oh, okay. I definitely won't turn my head. <laughs> Only when I look at the paper. <laughs> I love Zoom. Okay. Yeah. Um, so any questions for Gina? Because it looks pretty good to me. I agree. Yep. I mean, it's a pretty modest increase, really. I mean, I know it's tough to increase it all, but. It's modest compared to what everything is costing us these days. Everything costs so much. You know, it's funny, the inflation rate's only 3% or whatever it is right now, but it doesn't factor in the fact that everything went up a lot and now it's still only 3% from now on, but everything rose 10%. It's 3% so on top the of that. On, exactly, 3% on top of the 10% or whatever it was. So that's I, the kind of stuff that we're dealing with. That's why it's so hard to keep it to 3% when you're talking about increases in budgets because everything went up a lot and now it's only going 3%, but that's this month. I, I think this is, so I think anyway, this is pretty, I think this is pretty defendable. And I think, I, I think, think it's she pretty defendable too. I think, I think she I did, think a, really did a great job. job. Yep. yep. That's what I think too. It's a pretty tight budget. Deb, if you're listening still, the grand list when I calculated the tax rates in August was three one five six five eight two. The one Rosie gave me, I didn't open the actual file, but I made a note in my budget file is three one five four zero two eight. Technically, it's two thousand. I rounded to three one five five for the budget, so I kind of rounded up. <laughs> but well, so, it sometimes Tom, comes up anyway. Death Tom Brazier has his hand, so con permiso, I will call on him. Okay, yeah, I can't see him. Yeah. I thought you guys did a great job with the budget. I looked it over pretty carefully. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> uh, okay, so if there's no more comments on the budget, we can move to the next um, item. Everybody uh, okay with that? Are we gonna, this is a meeting where we move to adopt uh, the budget, yeah. I believe. Yeah, it is. So I, oh, yeah. I, will, make, I will make a motion to... Adopt the fiscal year 2025 budget as presented. I'll second it. Okay, we have a second. 
Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Um, okay, now we'll move to the next item, which is finalization of 2024 town meeting warning. Um, so the only thing that I want to add in, of course, is discussion on the town garage, but um, I don't think we have to have that on the warning, do we? I believe we discussed when we discussed this before. We said it was appropriate to come up under Article Two, the hear the reports of the several town officers into the act thereon, and it's already in the draft yeah. board report. Yeah. So easy yeah. to do. Right. It's in the it's in the select board uh, report. So that will that will open it up for discussion, and I'll make sure that we do that. That, that will be a special discussion point to give people a chance to ask questions and to for us to give information. Well, okay, if you put it that way, Seth, I wonder if it would be you know, helpful to townspeople to just add another article with that on there so that people looking over the agenda ahead of time will have in mind, hey, this is going to be discussed and might even decide whether to come or not based on that. That could be. Yeah, that might be helpful. We want people to come to town meeting. Right? Right? I think that's a, I think that's a great idea. There's really no downside to that. Yeah, there's no downside at all. I'd rather, I'd welcome that. It's a good It'd be idea, really Carl. nice to be, have a healthy discussion on that. Since we were talking anyway about putting it in Article 2, would it make sense to just have that be the new Article 3 and bump up everything by one? Yes. So make the garage Article 2 and then 2, 3? No, to leave Article 2 as it is, and then the garage discussion would be Article 3. I mean, the um, traditionally just would as a have public... When we have non-binding discussions like nuclear freeze or or whatever, uh, that that goes at the end. But this is not a non-binding discussion. This is a future budgetary discussion, and uh, I, I think it belongs in the beginning. I mean, it could be put other places, but I think it's not out of place being the new Article Three. You know, Michael is moderator. Do you have any comments? I, I, I don't disagree at all. It yeah. sounds like a good idea. Okay, thank you. Um, hmm. doesn't matter to me. Whatever works. You're discussing having it um put out in the signpost too, right? Earlier. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I think it would be good to have it as an article three because we could just segue down from our select board report right into that. I think that's probably a good idea. Right. You can foreshadow it in the select board report. So right. the next, next yeah. paragraph in the garage, we're going to talk about exactly. that more. just a moment and then yeah. blah, blah. Yeah. It's easier to blah, blah, right down through into that. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. So then we do it that way. Okay. Make it new article three and then just change the numbers and the rest of them. Okay. Yep. All right. Any more comments on the warning for town meeting? Because we vote on, don't we? Do we not right now? Yep. I'll make a motion. What I thought. To accept the proposed final draft of the 2024 town meeting warning as provided for us tonight. Does that work? As amended. As, as amended. amended. Yes. As amended. Now we just need a second. I'll, I'll second, second it. it. Okay. Oh, Sai, you're seconding it? Sure. Is there any further discussion? Uh, yes. Let, let me just take, okay. take your, uh, and then I'll, I'll make a comment. Um, 
So it's so it's okay. So I just want, and this is you know, probably how we've always done it, because Gina, you do your homework and go back and and look at our previous documents. But I just wanted to check in about page four, having the town forum uh, warning as part of the town meeting uh, warning. Is is that? Really, what we've done in the past? Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes, it is. I just hadn't remembered it being that way. Thank you. Yeah, and we did, and we're not setting a time for anything. Oh, we don't have anything else that night, eh? Well, this is that's, town. that's all we have. We will then have a select board agenda that will come after. Oh, there is a. This is oh, okay. Just a agenda yeah and the select yeah board. we just don't want to set a time for our meeting because the the um town meeting forum sometimes isn't very um busy so we like to start the town select board meeting is right afterward yeah but not a specific time open it up last year I, I believe i had like an asterisk that said the select board meeting would essentially start immediately following the town forum perfect yeah perfect yeah yeah i just remember the old days when bruce would set a specific time and then we'd have to sit there and twiddle our thumbs for an hour yeah right okay so are you happy with that carl i'm delighted <laughs> oh you're delighted it's a big word um <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't think we have voted on the motion. We've been having a discussion. Correct. So can I call the motion? Please. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. The town meeting warning is finalized. Um, select board report looks good. It was just one thing I had a question on back page. Uh, the next uh, third paragraph up the East Montpelier Fire Department entered 2023 being led by interim chief Albert Petrella. Albert was officially voted, and I, I thought it would sound better if there was in was put in there after the voted, but maybe that's okay just to leave it. What does everyone think? No, that that seems like a good edit to me. Yeah, it just sounded a little odd. Officially and voted as chief. Voted in. Is that the yeah, well, he was officially yeah. voted in. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's or, uh, Scott sent me a couple tweaks um, up in the third paragraph ish of that page about ARPA. Um, yeah. He said the purchase of fire engine chassis and the purchase of a new Temwell truck. Um, I think it was those two. I don't have it right in front of me, but I already made the changes on yeah. the file. Yeah, it's just, it's just a couple of typos. Yeah. 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 No, that I sounds good. About, can I, can uh, I ask a question? Who's, sorry. who signed this, and that is uh, select board members listed include John Jewett. He's not here to, he's no longer on the select board. And He was here, it's a 2023 report, he resigned December 18th, so do you remove really I, I mean, I, I certainly want to give him credit and thanks for all the time that he served on the select board, and he doesn't have a chance to vote on, on this report, so... That's fine. His name can come up. I, yeah. I think it's are we voting different. on the report? Well, yes, I, we usually do. Oh, I thought just in there. Yeah. You normally vote to finalize the report. The whole report, the town report, the whole item, no. the whole uh the whole document, not just this. No, you usually, yeah. 
No. Doesn't matter to me, whatever you want to do. Well, his name has been removed from the warning and he's being acknowledged yeah. on the, yeah. It, I, I would take him off if it were up to me. I, I questioned that too. I was going to ask the same question, Carlos. Yeah. I'm trying Whatever. to be consistent. I'm trying to be consistent from one page of the town report to another. That's kind of what I think about when I'm looking at it. Yeah. And actually the report has been made after he left. So we're kind of right. signing on to this, this. So you're probably right to take him off. Okay. Any other comments on or edits on the select board report that's going in the town warning or town meeting report? So we need a motion, right? I move to approve the select board 2023 town report for the the new town report as amended. We have a second. Yes. So um, any further discussion? Um, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay, that takes care of that. The next item, consideration of culvert engineering design RFP responses. Um, so I all the uh, packages that you just so kindly um, set up. I was a little confused on the prices. I don't I did not see a firm bid from the wolf. Now maybe so, I'm not reading it correctly. Yeah. They were just with this short of a time frame, most I mean, even Dubois, as much as they did make their effort, both of them were just going on essentially providing info by hourly rates. Okay. That's kind of what it looked like. It was just an hourly rate, definitely on the wolf. Dubois and King had some other numbers there. So the um, we have to choose between the two, correct? Well, so what Guthrie and I had discussed a long time ago and discussed with these coming in, given that both of these firms happen to be the firms that we also have under contract um, to perform engineering work for us, we'd like to use one on one project and one on another um, because then one, we're spreading the work um, in hopes that we can get these designed as quickly as possible. And two, it gives us an opportunity to work with both firms on two rather sizable projects to kind of see how this goes. So that's a good idea. We could say, you know, the wolf will handle Sanders and Dubois can handle Sodom Pond or vice Sounds versa, good. either way. Um, but the goal with these is, and the timelines work, Guthrie was very pleased. Um, Sanders Circle, I relate to both of them as the priority because obviously that road is currently unpassable. Mm. So in a worst case scenario, Guthrie and I have discussed if we couldn't repair that road in 2024, we would obviously have to install a temporary bridge. Um, but hopefully with these time periods, we will have plans, be able to go to bid. Guthrie feels confident we can get on someone's schedule this year to get this work done. Um, so that's where we were with this. You know, as you all know, this is also going to be the town's first projects that are done after the passing of Doug Newton. And we're probably looking at spending five to six times <laughs> for these this work from what we have in the past. That's just Doug was really working for free. Um, so it's a, it's a new world, but this all should be FEMA. You know, we the, the reason I put these out to full bid, put it in the Times Argus, we have followed all the rules for FEMA. So all of these costs will be reimbursed through our FEMA storm fund. So. Okay. So that sounds like a good idea to me. What's everyone else think? 
Yeah, I was pleased they were able to even get something back. I mean, I I was pretty aggressive. They both kind of emailed me and they're like, you're wanting a response this fast? And I'm like, well, we kind of need these designed as quickly as possible. So that's why we kind of went with, you know, give us an idea of your plan. And, you know, the hourly rate is kind of going to be what it is. For them to really, really, truly hone in on costs would have taken more time. Um. Okay, so quick question: Are we going to get? What's that, Seth? Are, yep. are we going to get? Are we going to get any more uh, clearly defined costs from them, just rather than hourly bill at an hourly rate? It doesn't uh, look like it to me. Not right now. No. This kind of I had I had the exact same question Seth did. You know. Okay, is it going to be yeah. ten million dollars or a dollar? And again, we can certainly well, do that. Likely means neither of these repairs will occur in twenty twenty four. I'll need to give probably a because okay. they'll have to dig into these in much greater detail to provide us that information. Okay. It, it has to be done and soon. Yeah, I so, I think we should just move I mean, ahead with it. They'll give us more information and start getting into this, but we are in order to get these moving, we need to execute agreements to to get to start getting both of these designed. Okay, I think we just need to do it. To get the job done this this year, twenty twenty four. Since we've already and it's not gonna cut Sorry, we seem, have a, we seem to have a delay between here and Florida, we Seth, so we keep talking over each other. Sorry about that. But um, <laughs> That's okay. since, since we've already authorized you to uh, go ahead and choose these firms for, for work, do you need any further authorization? I think to be extra safe yeah. um, for FEMA purposes, I would like a motion authorizing specifically DeWolf yeah. for Sanders Circle. Dubois and King for Sodom Pond that I can accept the bids from the firms for those respective projects. Okay. Okay. So That's what we need to do. Is there a second? Oh, I'll second that. So he seconds it. Okay. We have a second? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, any further discussion? Uh, hearing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it, they do have it. Now you need a motion for the other one. Um, I think she covered it. Yeah, the motion The motion was for both. Oh, okay. I, I didn't hear it. That's in order. Yeah. It's kind of broken up. Okay, so we're good. So can we move to the next item? Yes. Okay. Uh, town treasure report. And that's where I was uh, getting my documents confused here and just asking about the contribution to the capital fund, which seemed big for one year. Now, I wonder if that was ARPA money that went back in there, or what? what's the story with that? That's ARPA money, correct. That is the regular what... allocation and ARPA money going in as well. Okay, that's what I thought. Okay, who else has questions for the monthly report? Besides the dates wrong on the left, I yeah, think. Yeah, I'm making a note about that. Okay. And what else? Anybody else have questions? No questions? No. 
All right. Gina, you have anything to say on that? No. Okay. So let's move to appointments. Um, we've got two people. And we've got the Energy Committee has a new member, Mr. Costin. So we need to appoint him. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, I didn't know Dan Costin had moved to East Montpelier, and I'm delighted that he wants to be on the Energy Committee because he's okay. Um, I'm and yeah, I'm glad he's been attending the meetings. Okay. I know just from speaking with them, McCall, I think he's attended the last probably three or four meetings okay. and has been very interested and involved and decided to That's take great. a step to officially join the committee. He's been working as his occupation and as his avocation on energy issues for many years. That's great. Yeah. I've been on a committee. I've been on a committee with him and I fully endorse him. Yeah. Nice. I move to appoint Dan Costin, Daniel Costin, to the Energy Committee. I'll second that. We have a second. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. The next is... I guess Chris Racanelli is stepping down. So Aaron Borland has, um, is interested and we need to appoint her. Aaron kind of already managed green up last year. Um, just Chris kind of still held the title, um, for last year, yeah. but is officially fully taking those reins, um, and is the lead for green up. So, um, she should be the one appointed in that position. Chris has done that work for many years for us, and he has awesome. wanted to uh, put it aside for several years now. So I'm delighted that Aaron has the experience of working with him on it and is willing to step up and take over officially. And he is still supporting. Yeah. <laughs> but he, uh, no, but that's he good. officially in charge of him. Great. Okay. So um, we need a motion. I move to appoint sure. Aaron Borland to be the, uh, to direct the town's energy, uh, sorry, green up activities. <laughs> what, what, what's that, what's that officially called? The chair of the green up committee or? It's a green up coordinator. Green up coordinator. Coordinator. Green up coordinator. That's what I nominated her to be. I'll second. Oh, very good. <laughs> We have a second. No, we seconded. Okay. Any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Um, warrants. We only have... Carl, oh no, we have Zoe in the office too, right? Yeah. But still. To authorize me to sign them. Yeah. We need a motion for that, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Scott, you gonna make that motion? Is he still there? Yes. Yes, I make, a motion to, I make a motion to authorize Carl to sign the warrants for the select board. No, he's not here, so he I'll go ahead and second it. Okay. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. That's the warrants. The next thing is the town administrator report. What do you have, Gina? Um, not a whole lot. One permit since your last meeting. Well, two meetings ago, because I didn't do this report last time, uh, for a bike shed. 
Um, and then we have your future meeting schedule there for your reference. Okay. Seth, did yeah. you want to look at any of those dates because of your schedule or no? Well, February 5th, I'm not going to be in East Montpelier. What if we did it the next week, the 12th? 12th and 26th. That would work. That's two weeks apart. Probably works. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let me just. It works better than this. It works a lot better than trying to zoom in from here. This isn't working the best. I mean, we're getting by, but. I uh, I second that motion. Uh, yeah, the twelfth works for me. Okay, it works for me too. And I want to go on the record as saying I'm glad that development in East Montpelier is proceeding apace with a new bicycle shed in town. <laughs> Makes your night. Yes. Yes. Do um, you have this anything is, else on your the, town administrative report? This is something, this is a 16 by 16 uh, foot building. This is something that some people might call a garage. <laughs> and um, I'm, I'm just... Very happy that it's being called a bicycle shed. <laughs> yeah. Everyone still there? Yes. Oh, okay. Um, so nothing else on the administrative report, Gina? No. Okay. So now we have the early, too early probably for all the select board candidates. Seven thirty. We have one. So yeah, we have one. one. Let's let's have that conversation. That's Tom, right? Correct. And do we want to contact the other and just let him he know? He has a prior meeting. Okay. Come on at eight, around eight fifteen. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've got we've got some other things to do anyway, but we can talk with the one candidate that's in there. It's Tom. Sure. Sure. Uh, show, should we go into executive session? Sure. Tom. Point of order. Yes. It's not a contract issue and I'm not an employee. Cannot do it. Yeah. Last time you spoke with the candidates in open session, you, you went to executive session for to, you all to, to discuss. discuss you all to discuss right. the right. candidates. Right. Thank you. For that. that is not according to the meeting. Well, the statute is the appointment or employment or evaluation of a public officer or employee. But so, know, but board is a, a public candidate. Office. Okay, I guess so, it's kind of gray. So we're gonna talk talk with Tom now. Tom, would you like to come up here? Okay. Okay, we're ready. Well, um, as you probably know, I was on the select board from 1993 to 2008, uh, about seven of those years as chair. Um, I'm an investment advisor representative, which is the next higher license above a financial advisor. So I work with budgets every day. Um, and then, uh, I have a lot of experience uh, through the fire department uh, with mitigation of emergencies. So I believe that I can add stuff to the select board. Uh, I think I've got some knowledge that maybe some of you don't have. After 15 years on the select board before, why in heaven's name would you want to come back? Well, uh, to be honest with you, I hadn't even thought about it. 
but uh, when John resigned, I had like uh, 20 phone calls within two days mm -hmm. asking if I would consider. Mm -hmm. uh, so I considered it. And I have a little more time than I used to have when I was farming. Mm -hmm. If Seth can attest to it, it's uh, when you're farming, you don't have a lot of time. So, and that's what I was doing at that time. And I feel I can add um, some perspective to this level. And I'm very familiar with the town budget. Mm -hmm. Well, I have, I have a question. Is I don't, is it appropriate to ask whether you would, um, and I'm asking the select board, is it appropriate to ask um, if you would be interested in running for a term position in March? Is that, is that appropriate? have a position uh, or a, a petition in to run okay. okay thank you okay whether it's whether it's appropriate or not you answered it thank you <laughs> <laughs> any other questions for tom those are my two questions thank you for all your sir thank you for all your service Okay, thank yeah. you, Tom. Yeah, thank you, Tom. So we'll just have to interview the other uh, candidate later and do the other stuff we have to do now. Um, so the other thing that we have is a personnel matter, and we might as well go in executive session and discuss that. Everybody on board with that thought? Yes. Okay. I am. Yep. So I move to go into executive session under 1 VSA Section 313A3, the appointment or evaluation of a public officer or employee, provided that the public body shall make a final decision to hire or appoint a public officer or employee in an open meeting. And she'll explain the reasons for its final decision during the open meeting. <laughs> okay. So you made a motion? I'll second the motion. And we have a second. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 The ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Nick, why don't you take the hot seat? Sure. Welcome back. Thanks. Oh, boy. Yep. So we're out. Yeah, we're out of executive session now at uh, at seven fifty four. And uh, Gina, did you want to briefly summarize? Yes. So what we discussed was sadly um, the uh, municipal coordinator for the town office tendered her resignation and is moving out of the area. So we will be posting the position to hire her replacement. Um, if you know anyone, let them let them know. Um, but, uh, so we will have, uh, be recruiting for that position again here, um, in the near term, uh, right now, thankfully this employee gave us long lead time. So Patricia's given us until the end of March. So the hope is that we can manage to hire someone and have a little bit of time for them to train, um, before Patricia leaves us. So that was the executive session. <laughs> All right. So thank you, Gina, for that update. Um, and now we've got another select board candidate in to discuss his background or his reasons for wanting to join the select board, Nick Kosla. Um, so thank you for coming in, Nick, and we'd like to hear from you. Yeah, thank you for having me. Um, so we've been living in town now about a year and a half, uh, been serving on the uh, planning commission as well as the development review board. We've uh, relocated up here, planted roots, and uh, looking to continue to grow those roots and serve the community. Um, just switched jobs to be more local. I'm um, working for North Country Federal Credit Union as their chief information technology officer. So trying to be a part of this community and give back as much as I can uh, through volunteering uh, as 
pretty much a passion of uh, mine. Uh, I've got almost 30 years of corporate experience, um, all sorts of things, as well as some construction experience. So I'm a very well versed in um, economics, budgeting, um, some of the constructions, ways and means from a, from a business side. Um, and then some of the exposure on the planning commission talking about some of our challenges around uh, how do we continue to grow housing in a very pragmatic way um, that there are some concerns of how, uh, you know, we have some declining enrollments in schools. So that, that's a bit of a concern um, that we are looking at, but that's something I also want to try and elevate uh, into this forum as well. If I give given the opportunity, it's a pretty big concern as we move forward. Um, as well as, hey, what are we doing with our water and sewage problem in the village center, right? It's it's a bit of a concern of how we continue to effectively grow without overpopulating. So uh, just a couple of thoughts on that. Uh, again, my background's pretty diverse in what I've done. Um, I'm happy to take any questions you might have. Okay. So what do you have for questions? Does anybody have any questions for Nick? I've got a couple myself, but... Um... What is, what do you have any questions, Carl? Uh, I'll ask you a question that I asked the other candidate, um, we, or a variation on it at least. Uh, you're, you're now serving on the Planning Commission. Mm -hmm. uh, would you anticipate serving on both, or would you um, drop that? If, if given the opportunity, if the um, poll got too, um, too much, and or if there was a conflict of interest, um, I would serve on the select board. Yeah, and and... Why the Dickens would you want to serve on this board with this group of people? In the, I think it's about impacting change uh -huh. uh, and having diversity of thought. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I just want to. So my you question, have... Nick, what that? So we oh. so we just going to ask a question, Seth. I, I go for it. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to go first? Right. Or? No, I want you to ask a question because I never hear from you. So I'm very happy. <laughs> Sorry, you mentioned <laughs> impacting change and your desire to be in the board. And I was curious if you could expand on that, what type of change you're thinking of or if you're- So, so I am very big in preserving our environmental footprint um, and the picturesque beauty that we have in town. But I also think that needs to be weighed with our declining, or declining enrollment and how do we adequately take care of the population. Um, some of my neighbors are aging and they've expressed concerns of, you know, what do we do with our land and our homes when we're done? There's nowhere for us to go, but we don't want to leave town. So so how do we start to balance and look at that? Um, how do we do the appropriate housing study? So when I say impact change, how do we preserve what we have and grow at a pace that meets the needs of our town? I don't mean overpopulate. I don't mean overdevelop, nothing like that. But it's more about, are we attracting the right level of builders to look at our current zoning? What can we possibly do? And then are we looking at senior citizen housing? Is that an option that we want to think about? So when I say- for that right now? I, I think right now we should be looking at housing studies. I think our, our master plan, the way it was written about 10 years ago that talked about growing the village and we have now bookend problems that we can't grow at the central village, right? We have a sewage problem. And we have a water problem. So if we can't effectively grow that part of town, we need to start to pivot and figure out what other parts of town can we look at and potentially grow without ruining all the beauty parts we have down. So I think a housing study is, is, is required. That answers your question? Yeah. Okay. Um, so my question just has to do with the time commitment. Um, because I think you're pretty busy, but... Are you going to be able to make those 6.30 meetings a couple times a month? Yeah, so... They go on for a couple hours? Work, you know, switching jobs and working at a credit union, which kind of shuts down at 5 o'clock and no one looks at phones and emails, is a nice adjustment for me. <laughs> so my <laughs> nights and evenings have opened up quite a bit. We do have a board of directors meeting on uh, Mondays. It starts at 5, but like today it got done at 7. I was able to get here. If it gets done at 7, I can always dial in that one time a month, but the other... Weeks, I don't have a problem. So oh, it's, so it's just once a month, the board of directors meeting? Yeah, and I have the schedule, so I can always um, correlate that to see if that conflicts with anything happening here or not. I, this is bi weekly, right? Yeah, so twice a month. Twice a month. Yeah, first and third generally, mm -hmm. but uh, we, we tweak it. So this month, the first was January 1st, yep. and uh, we 
decided we didn't want to meet then. Okay. But but again, typically that meeting is about two hours. Um, so I would either be dialing, dialing in a half hour later, yeah. dialing in on time from uh, from work. Right. Okay. So. All right. I guess that was my major question. Scott, you have any questions? I don't. No. I I read through everything. No, I don't have any questions. Oh, I guess the question I asked the the other candidate, um, are you intending, if you were given this position or not, are you intending to run for the select board in the March election? If given this position, yes, I fully intend to run. Yeah, don't you have a petition out already? Yeah, we started getting signatures, and then I can okay. get the rest of it. That was my question. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Because they have to be in by Monday the 29th. 29th. Just, and I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sure you said it clearly and I just missed it, but um, the board of directors meeting on, on Monday, is that every Monday or just- No, once a month. That's, once, that's once my month. thought. I yeah. wanted to make sure. Yeah, yeah. thank you. God, that would be terrible. Is it yeah, the yeah. first Monday of every month? I, I I literally got the calendar cadence and I don't know if it's necessarily the first Monday. Um, I can take a real quick look. Uh, not necessarily. <clears throat> Like it's okay. like February, it's on a Tuesday, March. Um, I, I look at the second Monday, I think. So it, 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 uh, it fluctuates. Okay. Sorry, March is March 18th, right? It, it, okay. The, the cadence moves around a little bit. Yeah, it sounds like it. Oh, I see. Okay. All right. Um, Any other questions for Nick before we let him go, go home? I don't hear any. Of course, I'm a long ways away, so I might not hear it, but. <laughs> Motion to send me home. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks okay. For well, thank you, for the thank you for coming in, Nick. We appreciate yep. it. Okay. So now we have to go back into executive session. Is that correct? That's correct. If. I yeah, move to go to executive under one VSA section 313A3, the appointment or employment or evaluation of a public officer or employee, providing that the public body shall make a final decision to hire or appoint a public officer or employee in an open meeting and shall explain the reasons for its final decision during the open meeting. Second. Okay. We have a second? Yes. Yes. All those in favor, favor please say aye. 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 The ayes, the ayes appear to have it. They do have it. Okay. It is 8.18 p.m. and we are out of executive session. We are about to take a vote and then state the reason for the vote. Okay. Yes. I would yep. like to make a motion to um, appoint Nick. I'm sorry. I don't have the agenda in front of you. What's his last name? Bosla. Bova. Okay. Bova? Um, Bova. To the select board for the remaining um, portion of the uh, of the term <clears throat> until the March election. Um, reason stated: uh, his um, is new to the area. His fresh perspective um, as being a fairly new resident to the uh, to the town of East Montpelier. Um, Basically, his, his his perspective on, <clears throat> yeah. Good enough. Okay. I, I will I will second that motion, and uh, I would like to add as part of uh, the discussion that um, we have received the advice of council that even though it's a really short time between now and town meeting, that uh, state statute. Uh, really implies strongly that we should be doing this. Uh, the, the council, uh, our, our attorney advised us to make the appointment tonight. Um, and some of us discussed uh, just leaving it empty until town meeting and uh, allowing the vo voters to, to make the choice. But uh, we're acting on the advice of attorney and choosing to appoint someone tonight. Okay, so we have a... Uh, motion to appoint made by Scott. We need a second on that. 
I seconded it. You seconded it. Um, now we're going to vote on All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So we have three ayes, and then we have an abstention. No, Is that correct? It's unanimous. It's four ayes. You're not unanimous. Oh, four ayes. So it's unanimous. Um, so we, somebody just has to, Gina, can you, um, let Nick know? Yes. Okay. And Tom, yes. And Tom, yes. yes. I already have a note. Okay. So that takes care of that. Is there anything else? Other business? I'm not aware of Other it. business? There isn't any other business. No. I'd like Anything to make else, a motion. Gina? Yeah. I'd like to make a motion to adjourn. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 aye.